Most space companies are very slow, especially when it comes to developing and launching spacecraft. They might launch a rocket and then take years to launch another. This is because developing and launching a rocket is among the most difficult engineering feats ever attempted. However, there is one company that has broken the odds and launches one rocket after another in a very short amount of time. That's SpaceX. When you consider that they are launching the largest rocket ever built, you can't help but admire their achievements. It's been only a week since the last flight of this rocket, and SpaceX is already talking about the next one. In this video, we are going to discuss everything you need to know about the next Starship test flight. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. After the fourth Starship flight that took place a week ago, Musk and SpaceX seem very confident in the rocket, planning some risky operations for the next flight. This newfound confidence comes from some significant achievements during the fourth test flight, which took place on June 6, 2024. The mission demonstrated substantial progress in both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship Upper Stages capabilities, providing a solid foundation for future tests. The fourth test flight saw the successful ignition of 32 out of 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy Booster during liftoff, a marked improvement from previous flights where multiple engines failed. This demonstrated enhanced reliability in the booster's performance. In the previous three orbital test flights, SpaceX faced several challenges. The first orbital test flight experienced significant issues, including multiple Raptor engine failures due to a fire in the engine section, which prevented successful stage separation. The second test flight showed improvements with the introduction of a hot staging maneuver and an upgraded deluge system, but still encountered problems during the boost back burn, leading to the loss of both the booster and the ship. The third flight reached orbit but suffered from control issues and disintegrated upon re-entry. So, when the fourth flight performed better than all the past launches, SpaceX naturally became more confident in their ability to achieve reliable launches. Most importantly, the Super Heavy booster executed a soft landing splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico for the first time. Although one of the 13 engines failed to ignite during the landing burn, the booster still managed to compensate and land safely, showcasing the robustness of the landing system. The Starship upper stage managed to pass through atmospheric re-entry and land in the Indian Ocean, despite sustaining burn damage to a forward flap. This marked a significant milestone, as the vehicle demonstrated its thermal protection system and re-entry capabilities effectively. The successful completion of this maneuver validated crucial aspects of the Starship's design. One of the critical technologies tested was the capability for ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer. SpaceX successfully demonstrated the transfer of liquid oxygen from the ship's header tank to the main upper stage liquid oxygen tank. With these achievements, SpaceX is gearing up for its fifth test flight, scheduled for late July 2024. The next test will feature the Ship 30 upper stage and Booster 12, with the goal of further refining the Raptor engine's performance. One of the most ambitious plans for this upcoming flight is to catch the Super Heavy Booster using the launch tower, a bold strategy that has never been attempted before. The concept involves using the tower's mechanical arms, nicknamed Mechazilla, to catch the returning booster by its grid fins. This method eliminates the need for landing legs, reducing the rocket's weight, and enabling a quicker turnaround for subsequent flights. The idea is that by catching the booster with the launch tower, SpaceX can reposition it onto the launch mount, potentially ready for another flight within an hour. During the fourth test flight, SpaceX simulated this booster catching technique using a virtual tower. The booster executed a soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico, successfully demonstrating its controlled descent capabilities. This virtual simulation provided valuable data and confidence that the system could work with an actual launch tower in future tests. Musk noted that the successful landing on the virtual tower would allow the company to proceed with attempting to catch the booster on the real tower in the upcoming flight. The testing process for the Mechazilla Tower began earlier this year, with SpaceX performing basic tests on the mechanical arms. 
These tests included lifting, opening, and swinging the arms to ensure they could handle the load and movements required to catch a landing booster. These important tests have shown promising results, leading SpaceX to believe that the system is ready for a real-world application during the next flight. By reusing rockets more frequently and reducing turnaround times, SpaceX can significantly cut costs and increase the frequency of its launches. Now, whenever SpaceX plans to launch another rocket, we worry more about the Federal Aviation Administration license than technical problems. Following the fourth Starship flight on June 6, 2024, the Federal Aviation Administration conducted a safety review and updated the launch license to allow SpaceX to proceed with their next flight, set for late July 2024. This approval came with specific conditions designed to streamline the process. The Federal Aviation Administration's reaction to the fourth flight was generally positive, acknowledging that SpaceX had met all necessary safety and licensing criteria. However, the agency continues to monitor SpaceX's operations closely. For example, an environmental group recently announced its intent to sue SpaceX over alleged violations of the Clean Water Act related to their launch operations at Starbase. When we think about the fact that Musk plans to launch 1,000 starships in the future, it's hard not to wonder how he will handle all the licensing issues and environmental people for each launch. This is where the concept of a portfolio launch license becomes crucial. A portfolio launch license is designed to cover multiple launches over a specified period, rather than requiring individual approvals for each flight. This type of license can significantly streamline the process and reduce bureaucratic delays. Currently, the Federal Aviation Administration requires a separate license for each launch. This is time-consuming and unnecessary, particularly for a company like SpaceX that aims to increase its launch frequency dramatically. While working day and night for the next flight, SpaceX is also competing fiercely with other space companies to secure some of the largest contracts in the space industry. Recently, SpaceX, along with Blue Origin and United Launch Alliance, granted a share of $5.6 billion in Pentagon launch contracts. The competition for these contracts is intense. Blue Origin, Rocket Lab, and United Launch Alliance are all rushing to establish themselves as reliable launch providers and finish SpaceX's dominance in the industry. For example, Blue Origin is working on several ambitious projects, including the New Glenn rocket and the Blue Moon Lunar Lander for NASA's Artemis program. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.